The fatal stabbing this week of a Jacksonville teenager by his teenage brother remains under investigation. So far, police say it appears to be a justifiable homicide. News 4 Jackson now learning more about the family and the efforts of the mom to get the boys on the right path. No charges have been filed against 14-year-old Keith Simmons in the stabbing death of 15-year-old Kahim Simmons Wednesday night. Channel 4's Nicole Snyder talked with the director of a local youth center where these boys spent a lot of time. She's joining us now live. Nicole? The director says these boys were very involved going to after school programs on a regular basis and also attending community events. She says the mother is doing everything to do, she can do to raise these boys in a good environment. Developing champions in the classrooms and on the tennis courts, Malavai Washington Youth Foundation serves hundreds of kids in the Jacksonville area, including Keith Simmons and his brothers. And their mom's a very loving mom. She had four very active boys. and. Um, she had adopted when they were very, very young, and, and she did everything she could to, to, to love them, to care for them, and to give them what they needed. Terry Florio says Keith and his 15-year-old brother were very involved in the foundation before they were teenagers, but switched schools and were no longer able to make most of the after-school programs. They liked sports. They liked different doing activities. All the boys played tennis. Um, they all had a good time while they were here. Florio says the family still participates in community events, and the younger brothers attend most of the programs. There were always some, some issues. They were always happy when they were here. You know, they had um, a lot of... A lot of opportunities here, a lot of things that they could do here, and um, when they were here, they were always engaged. She says there is more to the tragedy that unfolded on Wednesday night than just a fight between brothers. But it was certainly surprising. Um, I know that Kahim had some mental health issues. He was, a, um, he was a nice boy, but he did have some mental health issues, so I know that that was very challenging. But the, but the fact that it escalated to the point that what happened happened, yeah, that was very very, very sad. The foundation works with kids to offer them resources and help, something the boy's adoptive mother worked hard to get them. She was very engaged and she is very engaged and she tried to do whatever she could for all the boys in her family. And the Department of Children and Families and police are still investigating this stabbing. We will keep you updated on this investigation on air and online. I'm live, Nicole Snyder, Channel 4, The Local Station.